All right, man, uh, guest fighter this week? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, so I'm actually commentating for the first time. They let me on a desk. I don't know who made the decision, but <laughs> I'm on the desk. I'm gonna be commentating. I mean, how nice is it? Like, I feel like for years, really, we talked about like, next big thing, dark horse in the division, all these terms, and now it's like you're the guy. Is that like rewarding? Have you taken a step back at all and thought about that? Um, for sure, you know, even like looking back, you know, I've been looking back on my journey in Bellator, you know, uh, we said it like pretty much through, from the beginning, I said like, I felt like, you know, this is started something special, you know, um, I felt like I'm in the right place at the right time. Um, and everything is, you know, uh, coming into reality, you know, uh, and it's, it's, it's kind of beautiful to see, kind of cool to like look back and, you know, see where I started and like where I'm at and where I got to go. Um, it's just like super gratif gratifying. So this like point in my career is like super, you know, uh, gratifying. That's awesome, man. And is this the first time you've done like any sort of desk work? Have you done it like on the regional scene at all or anything? No, yeah, this is my first time doing any like, you know, yeah. desk work. You know, I've been doing, you know, or I did like a, a couple like appearances here and there on the desk, but I've never like done it. So this is it's gonna be exciting. I'm excited to do it. Yeah, are you nervous at all? I mean, obviously it must be like nice to know that the promotion has faith to throw you on Showtime. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. They got faith yeah. in me, so that gives me a little confidence. I would say I'm more nervous to do this than I am to do fighting. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, you know what I mean? I'm gonna just have fun with it. You know, I'll have a couple drinks, and you know, if I fuck up, I fuck up. <laughs> you know, it'll yeah. be fun. There you go, man. Well, uh, you know, we talked to you uh, on fight night in Hawaii when you won. Did you, what, did you go back and watch it? Was it as good as a, a performance as you initially thought? Yeah, I went back and watched it, and it was, it was amazing the performance. You know, we, I feel like we, we scrapped. We came to scrap. I came to do what I said I was going to do, um, you know, and I adapted well. You know, I showed the heart of a champion, and um, I got the finish, you know, over a, a classy veteran, over a former champion, um, and nobody's ever finished him before. So, um, you know, I'm doing exactly what I'm saying I'm doing. I'm just staying, uh, sticking to the uh, kind of the, the, what do you call it, uh, Staying on course, you know, just, you know, training, getting better every day, and uh, everything is, you know, uh, happening like it should happen, so. Yeah, it's great, and obviously, uh, you know, I don't think it's an accident that they're having you commentate this card because there's two uh, Grand Prix fights on it. I mean, what are, you, what are your thoughts on these two? Uh, Higo, Sabatello, and Magomedov, Barzola. Man, these are two of the, I like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the matchups, you know? Uh, not, not only, like, the, the talk that's been going on between the two, but um, the actual fighters. Like, it's some really good fighters, you know? Uh, the Barzola, the Magomed fight, like, I'm really looking forward to that fight I feel like that's a pivotal fight in the in the tournament and also the Higo obviously for me um, the Higo and um, Sabatello fight you know it's super exciting um, super excited to, to, to fight one of these guys you know what I mean uh, and it's super exciting to like I'm, I'm trying to save you know uh, talking trash or uh, coming at them you know because they got I want them both to perform to the best of their ability but I'm, I'm super excited to get one get my hands on one of those guys are you leaning one way or another who you think wins? You know, I feel like Higo has the best, uh, or he has more tools to win, but I'm kind of rooting for Sabatello, you know. Um, I, unfortunately, I feel like Sabatello will be an uh, easier fight for me, but, you know, I feel like it's going to be fun to talk to Sabatello. I don't know how uh, Higo's going to talk, but he's been talking kind of a lot to uh, Sabatello, so maybe he'll, you know, come out of his shell and, uh, you know, give me some banner back and forth um, if I fight him. Um, the fights... Um, I think I dominate both of those guys, but you know, um, I'm, I'm just looking forward to uh, you know being in the moments. So yeah, absolutely. And I think you're a guy that has a very good perspective of like your whole career. It's not just mm -hmm. about fights and like you're doing the commentary. So for you to have a guy like if you and Danny fought, I can't remember the last time it was two like built up Bellator grown guys. That yeah, would, I would create buzz like that. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And you know, I hate to use the reference, but. Uh, uh, Kamar Usman needed uh, Kobe Covington. You know what I mean? I feel like he's like he's a bit of a uh, like a, a villain for me in my like story. You know, I'm, I'm sure I'm the villain in his story or whatever. But um, I need people like that. You know, um, I feel like you know I was ducked and dodged for a long time, um, and people wasn't really giving me a shot. Uh, they didn't want to talk back to me because they didn't really want to fight me. You know, whereas the, the tournament and you know I got the belt now. Uh, the million dollars. There's a lot of reasons to fight me now. So a lot of people are, you know, kind of, are they're forced in a situation where they gotta fight me. But um, and Sapatello is a person that's gonna like he's chirping back, like he feels confident in what he's gonna do, and I need that. You know, uh, fans don't want to see me just beat up on people. You know, just like like Juan Archuleta, like I kind of bullied him the whole time, and he didn't want to give talk back because he didn't want to engage in that. But it's exciting to have somebody who's gonna like engage back at me. How do you feel like receiving trash talk? I don't know if we've seen it in Bellator. Like maybe it happened on the regional scene for you, but is yeah. it something that you just don't care? Does it motivate you? What is it like? Yeah, it's like kind of motivating, kind of don't care. Like I'm just having fun with it. You know what I mean? Um, 
I don't get a lot of people to uh, to do it. So like when it happens, I like I'm loving it. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, I talk, I play Fortnite a lot, so I talk <laughs> shit a lot to my <laughs> friends. You know what I mean? And you know, I you know I would I love to talk shit. It's just fun. You know what I mean? It's uh, and then when you get to back it up, it's even more gratifying. You know, uh, that's something I, I I really do enjoy. Does uh, I mean, it seems like you really want. To. I'm not trying to put words in but it seems like you really want to tell him more. Yeah, I don't necessarily, yeah, like, I feel like uh, Higo will be a tougher fight, you know, but Sabatello, he just, he's, you know what I'm saying, he got a lot of eyes on him now, and he's, because he's got a big mouth, you know, and I'd love to be the one who shuts his mouth, you know, um, it, it's, it, that's just like a cherry on top, you know. So, because one of the things he said yesterday was about mental warfare and all the trash talk and things like that. Yeah. So, that seems like it'd be a tougher battle for him if, it, if you and him get matched up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would actually engage back at him, and I'm sure I would say some things that would get under his skin. Um, you know, uh, I got I got some <laughs> I got some funny things to say about him. You know, I'm trying to save him or whatever because I don't want you know to, to, to stir him or whatever before his fight. I kind of want him to perform his best. You know, I'm I'm rooting for him. I should say that I'm rooting for him to win. You know, even though he sucks, I'm rooting for him to win. Uh, so I don't want to mess with him. You know what I mean? But um, you know, if of course if he said something to me, I'm gonna say something back. But I'm gonna kind of let him like kind of relish in the moment and this is their fight also yeah, yeah. you know i'm just here to commentate it's their fight sabato leo and Higo, they got a fight you know all eyes are on them they should be you know what i mean so yeah. I, I want them to, to enjoy that and one last one for me um the interim title yeah obviously i know your boy sergio you know, yep yeah where are you at with that as far as like looking ahead in the future and talk to him is it kind of just like we see what happens um, it's, at this point, it's kind of we see what happens. Um, I haven't, I like I talk to him every uh, passing kind of, um, but he's still he's uh, battling his, his injury right now, you know. So I'm not like really looking. Um, I was never looking forward to fight him, but I'm not uh, like I got a lot of stuff ahead of my plate. I got this this fight. Um, I, my my short term goal I feel is to win this million dollars. Um, and then, you know, I feel like after that, you know, next year, Serge will be healthy, you know, and then that's more uh, of a real realistic talk, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So right now, I really don't have to deal with it mentally, so I haven't really been dealing with it. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, one for me, man. So, yeah. you said that it's your first time pounding. You can tell us about it. So, you doing anything tonight to prepare yourself for tomorrow? I know yeah. you said you said, okay, you know, if like, you mess up, you mess up. Yeah. I know you're human, so I'm yeah. going to something Yeah, so I, um, so I did a... Uh, it was just kind of like an introductory just to go over the plan and stuff, you know. Uh, and I realized I was a little unprepared, you know. <laughs> and it was a little more than I expected. So I did some research last night. Um, I'm going to continue to research uh, tonight, you know, and make sure I'm on point, you know. Uh, I got some uh, your things I want to say. I'm going to probably say on um, camera. And, um, yeah, I'm going to just kind of let it fly. You know, like I said, I'm going to have the... The uh, drink's probably flowing. I won't have too much, you know, so I'm like out of control because I've been told that I need to watch my language, so I'll do that. Uh, then uh, other than that, you know, I'm going to just have fun. You know, I'm going to like be talking. If I see somebody long feet like King Mo's, I'm going to just say it, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Oh, the main man, the main fight. That's that's a real a fight. I'm really looking forward. To. It got nothing to do with me and my, you know, uh, career. But you know, that's Greg Gor uh, Musasi is a he's a beast. Gegard Musasi is uh, arguably one of the best, you know, lightweights uh, or around middle rates around. You know what I mean? And then Johnny Evelyn is somebody that I've watched. You know, kind of kind of develop and grow um, and build his career, you know, kind of right alongside me. He was here at Bellator, I, I believe, before me, you know, and just, you know, putting his work to the ground. I didn't see, like, some of his training and things, and I see the mindset he has. So I'm excited, you know. it's it, uh, When you look at it, it's like a guy with 58 fights that's done everything in MMA and a guy young up and coming who has his 11 fights, but uh, so much potential. So it's it's super exciting to see, you know. Uh, I'm, ex I'm super excited to just see what happens, you know, because in fighting, you never know, you know. Um, the one time Gegard overlooked somebody, you know, he could he he could get you know toppled uh, or whatever. Uh, and then on the other on the other side, you know, uh, 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 Johnny Evelyn has a huge task ahead of him. So uh, it's, it's 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 a dope fight. Thanks. Thanks. Man.